Today we're shooting a commercial for Ford. We're going to stay more in front so we can see the reflection in the car. So, back wheel, yeah. How do these production companies make these cars look so damn good? I'm gonna let you in on an industry secret on what you must have to be able to create a pro car commercial. Yep. That's good. Well, I got one like that, so we can put supers on that side. Yeah, yeah. And I got yeah. a centered one. Yeah. But I think that's good for that. contacted by a local Ford dealer to come out and shoot a TV commercial to promote the next gen Ranger, Raptor and Everest. Now I was pretty stoked about this. Um, the guys didn't have a massive budget. It wasn't a big budget, but that doesn't matter. We tried to make it look as good as we could in the time we had. Normally we have a really quick turnaround time for these ads. So we go out and shoot it and then they'll be on air within a couple of days. It's not a big grand uh, production it's just me and a couple of the boys from the business that go down and shoot this and we shoot it in you know a couple of hours absolutely stoked with how it turned out and these are really good looking cars as well to shoot so that helps it's actually a big secret if you don't have this don't bother shooting a car Sorry. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. Have a look at this. So it's almost like magic. I mean, you can see the windscreen there and it just magically gets really nice looking. I've got three shots of the cars there and you can see I'm rotating this filter and it's just, it is honestly just like magic. So a shot like this can go from looking pretty amateurish to something really cool that looks very well lit, very thought out, and it's just a polarizer but it's not any polarizer. You have to be careful with what you screw in front of your lens. And that's where this sucker comes in. This is the Nissi. Now, I only exclusively use Nissi products because um, they sent me a couple to try out and to be honest, I've never found a filter that is so impressive. Their whole range, their NDs, their polarizers, the black mist filter, which I'm shooting on at the moment, um, it's all very high quality glass. So you do also have to be careful with putting a polarizer in front of your lens if you have also a built-in variable ND like the FX6 does. I previously used a matte box um, and put in some um, square filters in there and I had some horrendous um, kind of vignetting and color shift. So you have to be really careful with the quality of filter that you're using, uh, especially with variable NDs, sometimes they just do not pair well and it's a little bit of a, a push and pull, which you have to be very careful and have an eye to look for any errors that's happening in the image. Um, but on this shoot, I had no issues. Uh, we used this filter right here, just a screw on filter. And I would have to say without it, I would have been stuffed, absolutely stuffed. This thing will save your butt. An added bonus of using a polarizer is, yes, it will uh, reduce your glare and reflections and stuff like that. And in most cases, it'll just get rid of them completely. But an added bonus is it will get extra vibrancy and extra saturation into your camera. So your blues will be bluer and your greens will be greener. Who can complain about that? Something so simple is just the best. What I also love about the Nissi True Color range, especially with their variable ND, is there's no color shift. And it's the same with the polarizer. There is no color shift. It won't get warm. It won't get cool. It will just keep your colors as it's supposed to be. Now that's what a filter should do. What I also do love about this polarizer is it is lightweight. It's not a heavy chunker, so it's good to just chuck in your bag and have it there ready 
at all times. It's made from high quality aluminium, which is a bonus. And it's not a super low profile filter thread. So it's nice and easy to get onto the end of your lens. And it also has a little bit of a rim. So if you happen to drop this, that rim is gonna protect the glass inside, which is good. It just feels like a very sturdy little piece of kit. So don't put cheap and nasty filters in front of your $1,000 camera or $2,000 camera or $5,000 camera. What is the point of that? Invest in some nice filters to enhance your videography and take you to that next level. And that's it, hooroo, see you in the next one.